what's going on boo thank you so much for your love and support let's go ahead and get into the weekend vibes only take the part of the message that resonates leave the rest you can book your own personal message over at the website findingme.com some of you guys if you wear a like apple watch or um, you could be counting steps but i feel like you can receive messages on your watch you're going to receive a message from an individual or for some of y'all you see a lot of numbers coming across your phone. You keep wondering, like, who's calling you? Somebody is also, I keep hearing counting steps, but it makes me feel like in this situation, like somebody is watching you, especially if you're going walking. Somebody could also live in Louisiana. September is going to be significant. Some of you guys could be making, like, some plans. You could be doing, like, a 5K run. Some of you guys could also be preparing for like breast cancer awareness month. Okay, one of you guys may be connecting with a Passover loved one that may have um, gone through some type of cancer. And I feel like somebody is bringing an awareness. Huh. Okay, you could be dealing with a Libra. You yourself, you could be a Libra. Somebody's also dealing with a water sign. Oh, you done dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I do feel like you got some confessions that's coming your way or something is being confessed to you spiritually. Somebody is a psychic. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That changes the relationship. That's what I hear someone saying. It changes the relationship. Something changed within your family sector. We've been picking up a lot on like family issues or just like things with the family dynamic the past few months. For some of y'all, your career sector is connected to a family dynamic. So I don't know if you have a family business. So I hear organized crime. Somebody could also be going to like an organization. Okay, a cop, a cop's organization, or it's a club. Somebody could also have the initial COP. It's some drama. And, and for some of y'all, you feel like it's always some drama with these individuals. You just feel like anytime you're around them, you always experience bad luck. Shit be happening. Something happened June 1st. Okay. Something happened in June. For some of y'all, you could have found out that somebody lied to you. I feel like I'm picking up on some eternal energy. Honey, you could just about imagine this, what I heard. Oh, the hatred, the war. Somebody's mother may not like them. It could be a fight. Okay, I'm picking up 9-11. Somebody was very generous. They were very happy. Somebody was content. It's like your heart's desires were manifesting. Okay. It's like getting all green lights. Hmm. But something developed. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're trying to remain neutral in this situation. Mm -hmm. Hmm. But somebody won't be happy until they're satisfied with the individual's karma. I also feel as if a graduation ceremony may be significant. Hmm. Be careful of the intentions of others. Okay. I feel like material possessions could also be making somebody feel secure. I'm also picking up like home security. Somebody could um, need to have like some security cameras repaired also. I'm also picking up like a desire for you to want to change things. You may have started changing your environment, the scenery, just anything around you in between like August and September. Okay. Somebody is losing all hope in a love relationship. Somebody is thinking things through. Somebody's also having like night terrors or you're seeing things about your person in the dream state. It's drama. Okay, you may need some type of inner peace in this situation. Mm -hmm. Trust what it is that you feel. 
okay you're trying to take a logical approach for some of you guys to this situation if you're wondering yes or no to a a specific question no okay somebody is wondering if an individual is doing something um based off of like revenge or if somebody wants some type of revenge i'm also picking up like saturn okay i hear daughter saturn or saturn's daughter mm -hmm. somebody has an addictive personality and i feel as if saturn is coming in to create some type of structure and discipline, but somebody is having a challenge when it comes to the structure and discipline that they are being called to display within their situation, okay? Somebody is like, is, is a person doing this because they don't like me? Some of y'all may be realizing that you don't fit in in your environment. You have a hard time of focusing somebody around you or you you may be, be disorganized i also feel like somebody is like up in the air an airplane could be significant october 5th through the 6th could also be significant there could even be like a plane crash but somebody's ears are like popping you could be at high altitudes okay i'm picking up honey you live in the the good life a life of luxury okay things are good but somebody is very suffocating you can feel like somebody is suffocating you, okay? Somebody is sad, mental. Somebody resents other people. Mm -hmm. Somebody is also having some urinary tract issues. Okay, lots of number synchronicities. Who's being aggressive? The codependent one. Yeah, because there's changes in the relationship and somebody is tired of always trying to be flexible. Things are changing right before your eyes and you could be forcing other people to adapt to the changes that you're making. I feel like a lot of you guys are just empowered to move forward. Okay, you got so much stuff going on in your head. Part of you could feel vulnerable. Okay, a commitment. Somebody feels like they need to tell an individual the truth. Mm -hmm. Somebody... This makes me feel like an individual is not putting the ring on the, the person's finger. They're taking it off. I see a dinner also. So y'all could be cooking a family dinner. It could be like celebrations. You could be going out to eat. Okay, but I feel like somebody's taking off a ring. And somebody may even give somebody a ring back. But I'm really picking up somebody is taking a ring off. And the reason is because somebody may see some naked pictures something happened on the 31st when somebody was supposed to go to the grocery store you kept calling this person but it kept going to their voicemail and you're gonna find out that or somebody's gonna send you some um, pictures of an individual or somebody somebody has the passcode of somebody's phone somebody also has unlocked the key to um, somebody's contact list somebody is okay Somebody is seeing who an individual contact. They're looking through this person's, um, the phone book, the, yeah, the contact list. They seeing how many times the person called, how long they was talking. They're looking at their conversations, the ones that was starred. Damn, they even looking at the location of where the picture was taken. They're checking everything. And they're forwarding it. This could even be to their phone or for somebody to see. Mm -hmm. Somebody could expose someone at a family dinner. Oh, honey, they're going to just put it all out on the table. Oh, 908 could be significant. Somebody could have that their phone number, age, or date of birth. Okay. But if that breaks down to 17. Somebody's seeing a lot of tens, a lot of fives. Somebody spent a lot of money for dinner. Mm -hmm. And during dinner, somebody was just studying the individual, watching the individual. Okay. Somebody could have had like some seafood. Somebody may have also had like some ribs or a ribeye. Mm -hmm. so they spent a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody also got worms too. Or a pet could have worms. 
But yes, somebody is like, that's what I'm telling you. I feel like this person is taking a ring off. And it's a masculine energy. He's looking in the phone. He feels vulnerable. He feels naked. You know, like... Huh. But I feel like somebody was also engaged or married or... You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a commitment or something. But somebody's seeing, like... Some pictures they shouldn't be seeing. Not from their person, honey. Okay, something ain't, something wasn't adding up. Something wasn't going together. It didn't make sense. He was like, make it make sense. And you said you was going here. Okay, you said you was going to this person's house, but if you was going to their house, why you? Why did you call them? Spoil bay. So somebody could spoil an individual, could, you know, buy jewelry. Okay, somebody's side piece is spoiled. Somebody bought their side piece some jewelry. Or somebody's side piece. Oh, they see in the side piece. He's seeing the side dude. Look, somebody that an individual has been spending time with saying this is a family friend. That's somebody that they've had around their family. That's somebody that they sit at the dinner table with. They celebrated with this individual when it comes to like miracles. Somebody is realizing it was all a revenge plot. Now you love me. Now you love me. And for some of y'all, this could be family. You have spent time, family time with the individual. You didn't broke bread with this person because you're sitting at a table eating with them. And that's not like you and one person. This is like a family thing. Somebody's side piece. Somebody's side piece has spoiled the individual. They gave somebody some jewelry, some gifts. So somebody is like, where the fuck you get all this stuff from? So this individual goes looking. And it was right up under somebody's nose the whole time. An ex-lover. Mm -hmm. A past lover. So somebody is dealing with the individual from their past. And they like, okay, so this is the side dude. Look at this. And somebody is in their feelings. Somebody is in their feelings. Now, this could be a situation where you and this person not even talking. This could be somebody who you feel like is an ex. Mm -hmm. Somebody has a dog, like a Doberman. I also heard a pit bull. Somebody um, loves, like, outdoors, greenery. Mm -hmm. Somebody has Sagittarius placements in their chart. Wow. I just heard somebody's side piece doing the most. And this dude, he's looking and he sees, okay, this is an ex. And he's also, but this is the thing. I'm, I'm getting two different vibes. There's a masculine energy who's all on his ex page. He checking everything. Checking the phone. He's trying to unlock somebody's page or find out somebody's password or some shit. And somebody's side piece is scary. Because whenever this dude approaches the side dude, he gonna curl up like a little bitch. And somebody is bald. Somebody's side dude is bald head. Mm-hmm. He gonna curl up like a little fetus, honey. Hmm. Cryptic messages, same-sex relationship. 
This is somebody of the same sex as you. Somebody, somebody ex want them back, honey, and they splurging on the individual. And that can make somebody feel insecure because they know an individual got like a side dude or a side chick. But the crazy thing is why they eating with an individual? Somebody was also tied up into like some financial schemes with an individual and they like, man, I would have thought that you would have had some integrity. Like this is who you chose to mess with. So it lets me know that this ex is closer to the individual who's finding out that these two are sleeping around. But I feel like these two, the one who's looking in the phone or finding the information, they're committed to that person. And they started feeling vulnerable. They started feeling some type of way, like their insecurities was triggered. So they decided to go and look. The moment that they went and looked, they like, oh, this motherfucker spoiling you. This is where you got that jewelry from. Ever since I took this ring off your finger, ever since I um, said that I wasn't going to be able to do something or that I'm not going to, I'm not committed to a situation you have somebody else do it for you, your side do. Which happens to be your ex-lover. <laughs> and the song that's playing is I Hate You, Nino Man. So somebody has a lot of hate in their heart, baby. New Mexico is significant. Somebody looks down on an individual. You or you or the side piece. <clears throat> More so the side piece got a tattoo on their chest. The dude does. Mm Somebody could be wearing some like orange high heels or they toenails could be painted orange. Confrontation. Somebody could have also taken their ring though. And somebody's like, where's your ring at? Why you ain't got your ring on your finger? Because there's opposing ideas when it comes to a relationship. Hmm. Yeah, instigator. The truth exposed. Somebody's starting to realize their ex. And look at this. Sexual experiences. The truth exposed with the side piece. Somebody sees that in the individual's phone. Chill, yeah, somebody's secrets is exposed this weekend, honey. Somebody was exploring their desires, whoever they was attracted to emotionally. Look, this person's gonna take a risk. Somebody's gonna do something at the dinner or dinner table. So it's something that's already like planned. Like somebody is planning, um, so it's like the dinner or something was already planned. Let's see. Somebody is standing right over an individual's uh, shoulder. And here somebody is contemplating harming themselves after this, this situation or something is exposed. Somebody finds out the truth. Like, oh, you and this person, y'all was fucking around. And somebody always questioned it. Somebody always questioned, like, is that the side dude? And now here they are. They're spiritually becoming aware of an ex-lover. Somebody has access to information. Major access. And it's in someone's phone. Pisces game. 
I've been looking at your pictures. Mm -hmm. So this person was going all through individuals' pictures and a phone. A Pisces is significant. Okay, look at this spiritual development. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Some of y'all, you may have grown up with this individual. Like, I'm picking up, like, holidays, being celebrated. Like, this is a big dinner. You splurged with this person, which is why you're in your feelings. Because you like, I can't even believe you would be the fucking one to, to risk everything. Like, somebody risked everything. And look at this for some download lovers. Somebody like, yeah, I'm good. I want a new relationship. Like, you see something completely different. Your life purpose, baby, has always been spiritually protected because whoever you're dealing with, they have their own personal goals. And this situation is going to have you like, uh-uh, hell no. I'm good. I'm so good. Mm-hmm. I feel like your spiritual team, your ancestors have always been trying to get you to see something that originally some of y'all you couldn't see but now you're able to see it clearly baby somebody was keeping something on the down low from you and i don't feel like this down low lover um is about like a masculine energy or a feminine energy who's sleeping with somebody on the down low i mean who's sleeping with someone of the same sex on the down low no people was keeping stuff from you on the down low working against you and you like i can't believe you out of all people you gonna take this risk yeah they risk it out because they was in their feelings you didn't gave this person money for food before you fed this person but i feel like some of y'all you already knew something was out because you were studying somebody's behavior so that lets me know you was holding back. You're not really saying much. I'm watching you. That's what you're saying. I'm watching you. You've had problems in the past about this person being loyal to you. <clears throat> I feel like that's exactly what this ring is symbolic of. Like one's loyalty. You like, look, if you ride for me, I'll take care of you. That's what that spoiled bay is. But the minute that you and this person get into it, y'all had some type of conflict in the past. That's what led up to all of this. Look at this. Tell someone. Mm -hmm. Somebody will go to another individual and tell them about the fights that you and them have had so that that person will spoil them with attention and love on them. And see, so you're not the narcissist. They are. This shit is crazier than you know. Alcohol abuse is a factor. Somebody's an alcoholic and they don't want to face it. No new employment leads. So somebody's side piece, this person is in their feelings because they don't have nothing new going on. They don't have nothing new popping in their life. They may even feel like in somebody's side piece could be a sex worker. Okay. And they be lying about it. This person's on a quest. It's like they, they want to conquer or sleep with as many people as possible. A Taurus. Hmm. Yeah. Discrimination. Somebody realizes now why they were discriminated against. And there's this internal conflict. Mm -hmm. Somebody is trying to humble an individual. 
some of y'all may realize like you are being discriminated against because of somebody from an individual's past. And I feel like if somebody knows that like you have your own business or something, it could be like somebody trying to like spread some gossip. So, and this could even be to like, something is a lie. So, okay, let's say this is a family member, right? Or let's go back to the relationship, okay? This person sees, oh, you've been messing with this individual that somehow they've sat down at the dinner table with. Like, damn, this is who you fucking with. It start clicking with this person like, okay, so that's why they never, um, like, promote me. Or that's why they never, like, refer anybody. It, it, somebody is, like, realizing, like, okay, boom, you was fucking with this person, but you were supposed to be loyal and committed to me, because look, I'm spoiling you, I'm taking care of you, but the first time we have some type of conflict, you want to go run and tell that. Run, tell that. What? Um, That's a comedy, um, comedy skit. But I don't remember who it is. Is it Kevin Hart? I don't know. But run, tell, is it Martin Lawrence? I don't know. Run, tell that is going to be significant. Some That person could even utilize that terminology. Run, tell that, right? So... You could even say that to this person and you felt whatever I just said, baby, you felt it in the pit of your stomach. That's how you know this message is for you. So this person runs and go tell somebody whatever because they're spoiled. And when you're dealing with a spoiled individual, a lot of the times when you tell them no, that's when you see the confrontation. Boom. And now this person want to go run to somebody. You ain't going to believe X, Y, and Z with this person saying whoop, 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 right? Okay. So they run to a side piece. Okay. End up having sex with the side piece. But this is the thing. This person, they were feeling vulnerable already about the relationship or they felt like something was off with the person that they thought was going to be loyal to them. So they went looking. And when they went looking... They found, found it in a phone, the calendar, a contact, ran into somebody at the store. Somebody actually, a man has access, the passcode to somebody's phone. Somebody is born in March. Somebody is born in January. Somebody is a Capricorn. I don't even know what Mary J. Blige's birthday is. <clears throat> but that's going to be significant. So this person, they end up finding out that this individual is messing with somebody that they didn't broke bread with. Okay? For some of y'all, if this is a family member, they was talking to or... Um, conspiring against you with somebody an ex-lover and whoever this ex-lover is this person was discriminating against you blocking you in some type of way and i feel like whoever you're dealing with they they was aware of it for for some reason i feel like this man he's thinking back and he's like you know what this side dude he's like this is why this person wouldn't put me on. It could be a situation like that. Like where an individual, they've been friends and somebody is like, you know, or related in some type of way. And they're like, man, put me on. This person's like, nah, I ain't gonna put you on. They didn't put the person on because they were sleeping with that person's significant other. Or somebody close to them, or somebody in the family. You know, it's like a situation like that where it's a lot of drama. A lot of drama. And that's why there's changes within the family unit. That's why you feel like stuff has changed. For some of y'all, you may feel like you don't even want to go around family. Okay? It's an internal conflict because somebody is in their feelings about a situation. And somebody also in your family owe you money. Somebody wants to, like, reconcile so they can, like, oh, we want to have a dinner. You know, this is like an apology dinner, you know. And, and it's just like... 
Ooh. Some of y'all by Sunday, you gonna find out some stuff. You like. All right. Mm -hmm. Three of Cups. So somebody wants to go tell a friend. Some of y'all dealing with a water sign. Uh, or somebody's friend is a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Okay. I pick up a lot of water. A lot of emotions. Hmm. Okay. Somebody could have recently eaten like a pear. Somebody could have like a pear-shaped diamond. Okay, eight of wands, communication. Ain't nobody, somebody said, ain't nobody talking about money. Ain't nobody talking about money. Somebody's name is Neil. Okay. None is what I heard. You also got fire energy. Somebody was talking to their friend. Somebody exposed the truth. Hmm. Oh, so they was telling they person's business to the side piece. Like, all oh, this person ain't working. They ain't got, you know, nothing going on. So when this person went to go vent to another individual after you told they ass, no, you wasn't going to do something. They went to a friend and it could be your friend. They went to somebody who you normally celebrate with or, you know, have a good time with. But for some of y'all, I really feel like you consider this person to be a friend. You've talked to this person. And then they went and talked to this individual. So I don't know. It could be like a family friend like everybody. I don't know. It makes me feel like it's a mutual friend or something like that. Where one person is known to be connected to this person that's supposed to be loyal to them but the other person uh-uh like somebody don't really know about this individual and for some of y'all you could have been a side piece and this it has to do with your ex but this side piece is a dude Mm hmm. Hmm. Somebody rolls like a lot of blunts. For some reason, it's like they, I don't know if somebody's like going out for like drinks and blunts, but it's like they rolling a lot of blunts. Like somebody don't just roll like one to smoke, like they roll a lot. So it could even be like a smoke party. And somebody just feels like, look, this is not my scenery. Somebody could also be going to like a hookah lounge. Mm -hmm. Somebody's name is V. Or somebody uses Veet. But I feel like somebody's name is V. Oh, somebody was just talking. They was real foolish. Just careless. They was saying whatever to get that bag. So for some of y'all, somebody's ex could have some money. Or like somebody wanted to know what was going on with some of you guys. But they got the information from... I don't know. This shit is crazy how it goes. I don't know. This person is connected to you in some type of way. Either it's a, it's a family member and your ex. Like your family member could have turned on you like for an ex or, you know, something like that. Or somebody was married to an individual. But at the end of the day, somebody is seeing a side piece. And somebody is seeing the message that this person is looking at. And this person's phone, it exposes the truth. Like they talked about everything. It wasn't just a, a sexual relationship. It, there was emotional bonding between the two. Somebody could call an individual princess 
And there's Pisces energy as well as um, Leo. Ego, baby. Things were stagnant, honey. Somebody thought they was going to leave an individual out, hang them to dry. Somebody's name is Christine. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Somebody got caught up. Uh, a Leo. You was waiting for somebody to respond back to you also in some type of message and they didn't. Bottom of the deck, Knight of Wands. You can tell somebody's in their feelings. Somebody gonna be on their bullshit at the family dinner. Mm -hmm. Somebody don't know whether or not they should say something. Look at this, Knight of Wands, Ten of um, Pentacles. Somebody's like, I'm ready to get the hell away from this family situation. Nine of Pentacles went into the Ten of Pentacles, though. Mm -hmm. Somebody is successful all by themselves. And for some of y'all, somebody want to try to control your money or your independence. And that's going to be an issue. Mm -hmm. All right, boo. I love you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Be safe. Bye.